Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9. So, today, I'm going to quickly get some gallium up and running, I think. That's that's my uh, my goal for today. To get a, well, it's not the only goal for today, but it's, it's one of the goals for today. For that, I am using some of these dissolvers, and I'm dissolving some cobblestone. I swear there was a, an infinite cobblestone cell that you could make, like you can make this infinite water cell. I don't know where that's gone. I swear there was an infinite cobblestone cell somewhere. Is this one infinite water? Maybe it was removed for some reason. I was just about to make... It's definitely not in here, is it? If you look at it, yeah, that's not there. Fair enough. Okay, we are going to have to set up some sort of infinite cobble. I mean, we already have one down in the create area, don't we? There's two down, it's over here. This is too quick. Okay. Everything's really laggy down there, even though I have turned off all of my mob spawners, I think. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, what I was going to... Wow, dramatic much. Jeez. What I was going to do is use the infinite cobble and then like feed a drawer right here using an exporter. But it doesn't look like that's a thing anymore, which is a bit weird. So what we are going to do is figure out another way of getting infinite cobble. Ah, here we go. Look no further than the material stonework factory, I suppose. All I know is we might need tungsten. We got nickel... It's got anything new in it? New. Aluminium, iron, and uh, we got gold over here. We are purely looking for gallium, so this one. So tungsten we've got. Whatever that is, we don't have. Ooh, hello. We might need this for something later, so that's a good find. I might swap these over, so the tungsten goes over here, and then it's all the exotic metals go over here. And then gold goes over here. That makes sense. But yeah. All this really is, is I'm dissolving a bunch of cobblestone. <laughs> Easy as that. So each of these is... Uh... Why, are you not... Why are you not actually sending? Oh, I think it gets down to like really low. And then it will send. It's just modular routers is good like that. So yeah, this will just get us all of these things. Uh, I do need to somehow hook into this at some point. Or we do a puller upgrade on this and pull into a compactor and then that way we get like actual gallium so if we have a look gallium compacts down into gallium dust and we can use this again it doesn't oh maybe it does say no it doesn't say we can use this gallium dust to make the gallium arsenide and we've got the arsenic already because i've got that set up in here from the real guard dust, which we set up last episode as well. Cool, right. Okay, that's that's kind of just gonna sit there for a while. And we might get gallium and the other thing that we don't have yet, this thing. Dysprusium, I don't know what this is used for. Combiner. Yeah, no idea, but yeah, we might get those over time. I will continually check this throughout this episode and see if we get the gallium or the other one that's in there. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. So let me just do that. I think today a good thing to do is probably get this microprocessor assembly up and running because then we can actually get, kind of get into HV, but not really because uh, we do still need to make the stainless steel, which we need magnesium for. So I'm sure we'll find a way of doing that. But I think the processor to begin with, good idea. So again, I was setting up some recipes and I was like, yeah, let's make these SMD resistors instead of the other resistors that you get in this, you know, these ones, which we can do the annealed copper instead. So that might be a good idea. Um, HV. Grr. Okay, that's fine. We'll, um, we'll set up this other one, I think. So... And that one is easy enough. Where do we get the, the carbon dust from? Because we seem to have a lot of carbon dust. 
Carbon dust. I don't know where, where it is. Carbon dust. I don't know. Weird. Maybe we we set it up somewhere. Anyway, um, what was this? This was the assembler. So we're actually going to take this one out. Do I not have the recipe set up for resistors? I swear I had that set up somewhere. I do have that one still set up. Right. Okay. Well, we don't want that one anymore. We're going to use the other recipe, which is this one. That does need carbon dust though, as I just said. So where do we get powdered coal from? Coal dust and powdered coal. Oh, I did it through Ender.io. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So what do I do with powdered coal to make it into just carbon? Must be a way. What the heck is that? Organic black dye. Interesting. Obsidian B, iron B gets used. Oh, there's bees now for Ender IO. That's pretty cool. Okay, this one can take powdered coal as well. So that's fine. So that recipe should be fine for now. This one we can get rid of because we don't need it. This one we can get rid of because we don't, well, we can't do it yet because it's HV. So that's that one. That means that this, yeah, the transistor that I was going to make, you can't make either. So I'm going to have to do the other one. So this one, which is MV, so we can still do that one. Although we don't have an MV assembler, do we? Basic assembler, right, we might have to make a, an MV assembler. Fine, let me get rid of like a bunch of stuff here because otherwise I'm gonna get very clogged down. So I need to set up a recipe for the transistor. That is fine tin wire, which we can set a recipe up for as well. And silicon plate. Now, this is the one that I thought was going to be a right pain in the bum. And it looks like it might be. And that is, we're going to use this extruder recipe. Now, the silicon ingot. Where's my extruder? Is that the one? Yeah. Silicon ingot is actually kind of a pain to get. Because you have to do, like, a hot silicon. Sounds funny, right? So you do that by, is it chemical bath? Yeah, chemical bath. So we need to do this. So let's, let's go back to chemical bath, that right there. Water, hot silicon ingot. And this I think needs an upgrade for, oh, it doesn't really matter. We could use carbon dust. Although it doesn't say that it's got powdered carbon. Yeah, so this one I think needs the upgrade. If you look right here, it never goes around to the Cooper nickel. So there you go. Tungsten steel goes all the way around. And there's tungsten steel again without seeing Cooper nickel. We could use this one right here, which I think might be the way to go. But this one's so easy if we could just do this. Temperature, oh, that's how they, okay, that's how they gate you right there. They have like a higher temperature that is needed. And does this tell you how much the temperature is? Ah, heat capacity is 1800K, okay. Fine. So that's how, anyway, we need to get the, the rubber ingots at some point. What was this? This was the wire mill, which is right here. Stick that one in. Uh, do I have fine, do I have tin? Tin, I have got tin, okay. And then this one I think is the assembler, but again, we need to make the MV assembler. So let's program that in. Just, uh, I'll put that on the side there. And wait, wait, what is, that is the chemical bath, okay. Chemical bath, that one. So what was it that I was doing? I just completely forgot because of this. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade this. That's not what I was doing though. Okay, it does look like I was thinking about upgrading this. Heat proof machine casing. Can I just upgrade the coils on the inside? I don't know how this works. If we go to the multi-block info, P 
two is this stuff, and it looks like it is the same stuff can be used. So all I need is this. That's not at all what I wanted. Can foul. Can foul. This. Okay, so we need to make. Oh crap, I've already forgotten. We need 16 of those. Fine. That means we need to program in aluminium foil, canthal wire, which we need to make some canthal by the looks of it, and we need to get copper in liquid state. So, copper, we can just extract, I'm guessing, from copper. Yeah, it's perfect. So, that's that one done in the extractor. Let's go put that one in before I forget. Extractor. Uh, so that's done. We need this canthal wire, which is this wire in the wire mill. Okay, so wire mill, let's do that. How do we get this stuff? Chemical bar? No. We have to heat it. We have to make hot ingots. No. Okay, let's bookmark both of these then, and we'll have a go at making this then. Canthal. Iron, aluminium, and chromium. Actually not that bad. We could do that. Uh, no. Let's do that again. Iron dust, because we're going to use this iron dust instead. Cool, because we can make that. Although we do have 40, anyway. Yeah. So, where's that? That's in... This one goes in the wire mill. This one goes in the mixer. I think it goes in the mixer. There you go. Put it in the mixer for now. Can I just do a canthal dust? Canthal dust. Now, big question. Ah. Ah. Okay. Do you need to be... Cantal dust. Yeah, you need to be on program. Program one. Cool. At least it's MV. And we can we can still do it. Yeah. Whew. There you go. That made us three cantal dust. So now I can do this recipe. Get rid of that. And then I can use this for the chemical bath. This recipe. And that's how we get the cantal ingot. Right, and then we also need the recipe for the double wire, right? No, the other one. This one. Let's stick that somewhere. Aluminium foil, we could put in the bender. Not the one from Futurama, but... Bender is right there. Are you set to program one? You are. Perfect. And this can just go in any of these. Did I set the recipe for this in the assembler? This needs MV, so that should be fine. Oh no, we haven't made the MV assembler yet. I didn't set the recipe though, otherwise it would show up here when I'm looking for can. So we will do one of those, and we'll set that up in here. And then we need... MV assembler. This one. So again, stick that in chemical reactor. Okay, so I haven't set this one up yet. Nope. Cool. Missing carbon dust. Ah, because it needs carbon dust to make this friggin' thing down here. And I need to change that to be powdered coal instead. Right? Is that how that works? Carbon dust. Oh, it needs to be pure carbon dust. Oh, that's a pain. Oh, we can just stick that through like that. Awesome. Oh dear, what did I just do? Okay, that's fine. That's coal dust. Powdered coal dust, please? Powdered coal? That's the one from Ender.io. I think that's how that works. Go down here. It's the centrifuge, so I can stick that in. 
This one can go back in up here and we should be good, good to go again. Um, I think that should be fine. Hopefully it doesn't just jam because it's got two things in there. No, it's all good. Bit of news on uh, on our dissolver setup thing we've got. We do have a gallium. We got three gallium. It's pretty good. So this does work, and this will just work whilst we do everything else, right? So all I need is a compactor, and I already have one. And yeah, I can set this up. On top like that. God, I hate the sound when it, it does like the blue moon and all the other moons. This does feel a lot slower because it seems to be making lots of rubber. I'm not sure if I just made like an absolute butt ton of rubber at some point and it's finally finished off the amount of rubber that we had. But I have seen this been scheduled a few times so I'll wait yeah because what it does is it makes the rubber makes the, the, the rubber ingot and then Turns it into rubber like that. Maybe I did have a big backlog. Well, hey, there we go. We did get ourselves the assembler. So let's swap out the energy converter. Make sure we put down the right assembler. And then I do poop. I forgot what this program was set to. It's fine, we can at least set the auto input and then do one of those. And I think now if we do, what was it? It was the can thingy. Does that have to be set to a program? I don't think it does. Does anything need to be set for, for a program for this? Anyway, let's try and make some of these. 16. Whoa. Oh, I need iron dust. I knew that. It needs a lot of ruby dust. Why have I only got a little bit of ruby dust? Ru ruby dust. I set this up last episode, didn't I? So let's do... I don't know. 1028. That should be bringing us some ruby dust. There you go. Eight already. It's not quick though, is it? Okay, so it is coming through. It just... I think it... It has to wait and then it takes like a stack at a, or half a stack at a time. Is that what's happening? It's this one over here. Strange. Okay, we'll just let that do its thing. Meanwhile, we can get like a couple of stacks of iron dust in the mix. And then we can try again. Okay, so now, fingers crossed we've got enough of everything. We do. Go and make us stuff. That's going to electrolyze a button of ruby dust for us. Why is that trying to make like lots of aluminium out of this? Because we get aluminium out of the electrolyzer as well. Ah, I'm not going to question it. It's all good. Now, I am a little worried about the LV hatches that we've got back here. Because... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be enough power. We might have to up these to the MV, MV ones? I'm not sure. Uh, if we do Blast Furnace again. What does it say? P1. It does say LV hatches, but I think it will say that for all of them, right? Yeah, it does look like it's saying it for all of them. But I feel like we might need an MV hatch. If that's the case, that's fine. Oh, these are all low low voltage as well. Do we need to upgrade these? Heat proof, all right? Heat proof. Okay, it doesn't say anywhere that there's like a, an upgraded heat proof machine casing. So I think we're fine on that front. MV hatch. Oh, okay. We might have to make these. Which is fine. We could do that. Okay, we've got a slight issue already. And that is the fact that it's putting the canter dust in here. And we've got a program set to 1. Oh, they've got a program circuit thing in here now. So I don't even need this. Cool. Okay, we'll leave that like that then. Why are you not... Why are you not working? Because it, do it doesn't... Yeah, it says... Uh, 1.8k... Or, 
yeah, 1.8k of heat capacity. It's definitely set to MV, so everything should be working. I mean, this is what we were using for aluminium, right? So, should be okay. I am confused. If we look up the Cantha ingots, Cantha. Uh, chemical bath, so it's this hot one. Yeah, it does say that you bummel HV. HV is what that says right there. Uh, fine. How the heck do we get HV then? I guess we need to make all of the MV hatches and everything and, you know, like, like this back here, the LV energy hatch. We might need to upgrade that to MV. This doesn't sound like too intuitive, right? But from the two LV that we got right here, we did manage to get up to MV. So I'm guessing from two MV, we can get up to HV. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, the All the hatches and stuff, I'm guessing we're going to have to increase as well. I'm going to let this like finish its craft of what it has got, because that will make us all of the canther dust. So it's crafting all of the canther dust right now. And I think that is just doing it in the mixer. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got a little board staring at this thing, making... You know, watch pot never boils and all that. So uh, what I'm going to do is automate or at least put recipes down for each of the like MV versions of stuff. So uh, I am starting with the energy hatch because it looks like the most pain in the bum. But it does show that we do have these things now. So we did need to set up all of the chip making things previous. Okay, that's fine. So... I did just make this uh, medium voltage coil, which is fine aluminium wire, uh, magnetic steel rod. I've set up a recipe for that. That one there is just aluminium wire like that. And then this one, again, aluminium. I made a bunch of aluminium, so it shouldn't be too long, let's say. Right, let's cancel that. Let's grab these two. Stick these in there for now. And we can request, I think we need two, just the way that it works, right? And whilst that's going off and doing that, I'm going to make input hatch, input bus, output hatch, and then the output bus. And we're going to do the same thing, we're going to wang it in next to that recipe we just put in. So that one, that one, that one, that one. Perfect. And then we might as well MV. So we need an output bus. I don't have any chests, are you kidding me? The output bus. MV. Output. Done. Done. And then input as well. And we can't do this last one because we've only got four CPUs. So I've got no crafting CPUs available. But that's fine. Once this um, MV energy hatch finishes, that should free us up. It's nearly done as well. So there you go. That's freed us up. So now I can do this one. And there's the two energy hatches. Can I use these with this, with the Cooper Nickel? I have no idea. Or we might do some exploding. Uh, we'll find out, I suppose. Oh, I just thought of something. We might need the four A's as well. So, M, V, 4, A. Low voltage transformer. No, it'll be this one here, the energy converter. So, I might need to set that up as well as a recipe. Just because I don't want to do it myself. Oh, we've already got all of that. Oh, yeah, we already made the copper cable. Good, good. So let's put that in as well. Now I don't exactly know what cable to use for this, but I'm sure we'll figure that out as we go. 
Maybe aluminium cables, I don't know. So we do need two of these as well. Right, here comes the scary part. We're going to start ripping this down. So, where do we start? Copper cables? What the? I never really looked at how much this... So that's an MV one. Okay, that might be fine. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, why do we even have cables there? Oh, yeah, because... No, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, I might be able to just put this, like, right up against it. Obviously, I don't want to do that just... Oh, I need to put these in first. Let's do that, do that, do that. Ah, oh, poo. I forgot where everything went. So, import bus, I remember, went right there. Output bus. Output hatch. No, wait. I'm going to go back and, uh, like, look at my clips. I do know that these two go right at the back. I don't think it matters, if I'm honest, but... I don't know. I'd like to, I'd like to put them in the right place, if you know what I mean. Where's my other thing? I swear I had another... Oh, it's right there. Oh, seems to have worked, at least. Yeah, that looks right to me. Yeah, that's the fluid. Okay, cool. Nah, don't have to look at my clips. Right, so that one can go there. Please don't explode if I stick this one here. Oh, I found something out as well. If Well, I didn't find it out. It's kind of obvious. If you grab a wrench, it doesn't matter what side you're facing. I can put this like here. And then shift. And then that'll puts the face like that way, if you know what I mean. So now I've got these two. Please don't explode. Oh, I didn't even hit these with hammers. Okay, please don't... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, why can it only go up to... <laughs> oh, because of the Cooper nickel. Ah, got ya. Okay, right, let's, let's try the... The car stuff now. Eh. No, what's it called? That stuff. 16. Start. Ah, yeah, this needs to be on one. It's working. Oh, I'm really glad when things work. Nice. It does say they're HV, so we are on HV right now. And it hasn't exploded, so that's always a good sign. So there's the hot ingot. I did think about this. This is probably not pulling from over there anymore. There we go. And now, if we go back down here, it's doing the washing. Everything takes so long at this point. My goodness. But that's fine. This is doing the washing. This will get us... Eh? Why is that not going? Oh, I didn't even set this one. Oh, interesting. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Oh. So, let's have a look at this. How's this doing right here? Good. It says crafting one of these ingots. Has it already done that? Oh, oh, it has. It has. Look, it says two of these uh, canthal wires. You know what? This one would have probably been easier to get the hot silicon, thinking about it. Genuinely would have been easier to do, but I'm glad we did this because I think this is more fun. Like getting to upgrade stuff, right? Should be good. This is going to take a while though. My goodness. It's done five so far. I think it takes 45 seconds per. Yeah, it says it in Baylor or whatever this is. Jade? I think it's Jade up in the top there. 45 times 64 times 2. 96 minutes. An hour and a half. Over an hour and a half to do all of these. Uh, I might go out for a bit then. Uh, <laughs> this, this is funny. Oh god. Uh, okay, we'll leave this for a while. All of this purely so we can get a transistor. Wow, okay. Uh, what can we do in the meantime? Because this is going to be quite a while. 
We might get it by the end of the episode, who knows. Uh, maybe we should make a bunch of chips, because that also takes a while, right? Chip. Okay, they're the four different types of chips. Or wafer. Uh, so, how many do we get per... Okay. So we get 32 per one of these, so it's 32 times 8. For the RAM chips. Ram you know what we could do? Oh no, because we also need the water to go with that. Okay, I'll figure out how many of each I can make. Each of these chips I can make. I'll set up all the recipes for that. Although that is four recipes. Okay, I'll do three of them. Huh, interesting. Um, I was just looking at other things to do right now whilst we wait for everything to process. Looks like smooth stone is better. You get a better chance of getting the gallium. So... That's a 0.14% chance, whereas smooth stone is a 1.61% chance. Plus, we can set this to smelt and then smelt. And we can just turn that off and make it so it just goes from here instead. So that pushes. Wait, why is it going? Are you going out the back? That's bottom. That's not what I meant to put. Let's do it on this one. Push. There we go. Take all of these out. And we should get a better chance at getting gallium from this. I did set up the uh, like compactor thing for gallium. Look, we already got another one just from that. It's pretty good. Oh, these might fill up. Okay, time to make some upgrades for these. Copper. Right, there we go. Move the tungsten over. We got any gallium yet? Oh, we're getting close though. That's pretty good. I'm glad that I noticed that, otherwise that would have sucked. <laughs> Are these at least getting filled up as well? Uh, the buffer... It's kind of getting filled. Okay, good. Right, I have a plan for when this finishes, because we got one last ram wafer to turn into ram chips. And when that finishes, I'm going to make a butt ton of rubber. Obviously, I can't right now because I don't have the crafting CPUs. I mean, I can go and add the crafting CPUs, I suppose. <gasps> One of them is finished. Right, let's get the rubber on the go. Rubber. Let's get, like... Ah, okay. Well, I can get more um, sulfur. There we go, 512. That can go off and make us a bunch of rubber. Three hours later... It's done. Not only is that done, but also we got the rubber ingots I just put in. That's insane. Uh, I went and did my weekly shop and uh, did a little bit in the garden and took the dog for a walk and everything like that. So, yeah, that was a decent time to do it. I just left this AFK. Uh, what are they called? These things. Cool. Right. So we should be able to just place these down. Cool. Now, what does this say? 280 or 2800K. Nice. Uh, we needed that for silicon. Is that right? Silicon. Next. Missing hot silicon. Oh, yeah. Does everything like unlink? Oh, I never put it in. Never mind. Hot silicon ingot. Let's do one of those. Okay, now let's try this out for size. Oh, it's doing it. Oh, it's actually quite quick. That's really quick. Right, I am not going to lie. I kind of went a bit overboard and I recorded an absolute ton already for this episode. It would be like over an hour and a half if I was to include everything for this episode. So I'm going to chop it here and we're going to come back next time where I do some improvements. I actually change out the silicon recipe. So before you ask, you'll see that in the next episode. The other silicon recipe is so much easier, the, the hot silicon.
Anyway, we managed to upgrade our uh, blast furnace. We got ourselves some silicon. So now, I think we're going to get into the HV age. Right, anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.